Hey folks, Nate here with Outside Cleaners, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Uh, rainy Sunday in April and just taking the opportunity to do some maintenance. Wanted to also take the opportunity to share something that's been on my mind, uh, kind of bugging me. I see a lot on um, YouTube and the power washing forums, guys showing their rigs and uh, one thing that bugs me is I think a lot of them are installing the banjo filter the wrong way. Here's what I'm talking about. So here's my, here's my canister, the screw-on canister on this typical uh, banjo filter. This one feeds in from a couple IBCs to this eight gallon a minute pump. Um, I've had to get this uh, bracket fabricated to hold the filter this way. I understand why guys typically put this in with the canister screwing in from the top because that's the easy way to mount it. Problem being, as I see it, if you have crud that's in your line, you want it to settle down into the filter so that as you back the filter off, the stuff that's in there comes with the filter and then you can flush it out and clean it and put it back on clean. If I had to do this from the top, if I have some kind of debris or, or sediment or sand or something like that in my water supply that's gotten clogged in the filter, well then as I've backed it off, that's not coming with the filter, that's gonna stay in the line. Then I put this back on and some of that crap will have gotten past the filter barrier and now next time I start up my machine, up it goes. So, like I said, I'm surprised that these brackets aren't commercially available and I understand why guys, you know, kind of take the easy way and just hose clamp these things down in any which way, but I do think, I think you can see why um, this seems important to me to back the canister off from below so that the stuff that's settled in the filter comes with it when you go to clean it out. Hey, do you think I'm wrong? Let me know. Um, but I've given it a lot of thought and I've seen how this works and uh, it just seems really clear to me. So anyway, uh, just a food for thought, especially for the guys setting up their rigs. Um, any questions, let me know, and uh, as always, thanks for your input.